This video is brought to you by SingerOnline.com and what it is, it's video number two of gear removal for a Singer 750 touch and sew sewing machines. And this process goes across 20 or so different Singer models. They all use the same gear configuration. And the horizontal shaft that contains the two gears on the bottom has to come out this side of the machine. But in order to do that, you've got a couple pieces of equipment in the way. And we're going to take these off. One of them is this reverse mechanism here. And we're going to take this screw out of the bracket that keeps it straight. And we're going to let it just fall so that you can get, get your shaft out. So we're going to let it fall down there like that. We don't have to take the screw all the way out. The shaft is going to come out and it's going to come out above this lever. And you can do it two ways. You can put the machine on stretch stitch which will lift it up out of the way. If you do that, by stretch stitch I mean turning the stitch length, pushing the stitch length knob all the way up here to the picture of the disc. That puts the machine in stretch stitch mode and it lifts these mechanisms out of the way. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bend this spring bracket up, which is what we already did. You're going to do that with a pair of pliers. This spring bracket sticks in the way, so we bent it up out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off this tail of this, of this uh, stretch stitch fork. It doesn't serve as any, any need, and it's in the way. It has to come off. It's not going to jeopardize the operation of the machine in any way. And I'll show you how we do that. We use a Dremel tool, high speed cutter. Keep in mind it's kind of hot, so you don't want to handle it with your fingers. Just get it out of the way. Now you see the fork is, is, is cut, so you can get your, your shaft out right through this opening here. And that's about it for this, this video. Sometimes you may have to grind this, sometimes you may have to grind this device off right here so the shaft can come through. Or you can take it this way, and get it started and then take it out, take it up the all the way through. But I think what you're going to want to do is grind a, a little groove in there with a grinding wheel, not a cutter, a grinding tip for a Dremel. And that will end this video. Then you just take your, your horizontal shaft. You all, of course, all your gear set screws are loose. And your, your retaining collar is loose. And these set screws in the, in the timing pulley are already loose. And so you just slide your, your, your horizontal shaft all the way out this right side. Thank you very much. This is SingerOnline.com.